taken. We're starting from an amazing place here in Borg Saint Maurice. We stayed last night in the base camp hotel, which has this view out our window. We started out on the route of the Grand Alps four days ago with almost 500 miles and 58,000 feet of climbing ahead of us. On day one, we left from thonan le bain and climbed 4,639 feet of the Col de Jouplan in a thundering rainstorm. On day two, we climbed the intimidating Col de Rome, followed by the Col de la Colombier and the Col de Aravis for another 6,919 feet of climbing. Day three was our Queen's Stage, summiting the Col de Cézis, the formidable Col du Pré, and the glorious Cormet de Rosalande, adding another 7,621 feet to our total. Now, with almost 20,000 feet of climbing in three days, we were heading out to bag the highest pass in Europe, the Col de l'Iseron, peaking out at 2,770 meters, or 9,085 feet above sea level. First, we had to get to Val de Serre, a climb of over 4,300 feet, and then, well, things don't always go as planned. Good morning, Borg Saint Maurice. All right, we're at 700 meters, and we're climbing up to 2,700 meters. It's about 6,600 feet of climbing. Okay. Pain, Lisa. Pain. That's the story of the day. Pain. I'm gonna ride right over the top of that thing, yodeling today, Lisa. Yodeling. It's our first real switchback, Lisa. Today. How you doing? Oh, it's good. Val de Serre. It's a long ride, isn't it? Long ride, especially after a long ride yesterday. But it's gorgeous. There's glaciers up there and waterfalls and it's really something. Yeah. Killing it, Lisa? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Barum nicht. Barum nicht. Kinderspieler. So it's 17 kilometers to the top of What I'm about to do is ignore an obvious sign written in three languages and blow right past a detour. Velo's French, Bikes English, and Fahrräder German were three clues that this sign was for us. Deviation obligatoire should have been my fourth clue, but we rode ignorantly past. Good thing another cyclist who couldn't read stopped us on their way back before we wasted too much energy. Definitely went the right way though. Yeah. So we're going to go an alternate route. There's the dam. Yeah, really, how are we gonna climb out of this? Deviation to the right. I wonder what this is gonna be like. Well, even if we just get to Val de Serre, right? We'll get there. We'd be climbing this elevation. Anyway, maybe not this steep. It's not too bad, but not yet. Yep. We're getting up there, Lisa. All right. Is that how many? 3,000 feet? It's a pretty good run right under the lift here. It's pretty steep. <laughs> All right, lots of tunnels here. This is the scary part. Here we go, into the tunnel. Hello, Val de Serre. 
I don't know what I'm doing. We need something to eat, that's for sure. All right. The feed ladder. We just... Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> We we'll be better. better. We <laughs> ate better. We feel better. I just drank Coke, and here we go. And we ate at the uh, Patisserie Cafe right there. Bought a ham sandwich and some treats and some Coke. And so now we're ready for the Isran. Here we go. It's two o'clock. Ah. Ah. Oh, it's delightful. This. We knew we were. Yep. I knew we were because we don't have any idea what we would do in that town no, I... to relax. No. We move. We move. We move. So we were headed up the hill and all of a sudden we heard a And I knew what it was. I knew we were hosed. Yeah, so our tire actually blew out the sidewall and we have 700 by 28 C's and no one in town has a 700 by 28 C. We ended up checking like four stores and then we went back to one guy who was more mechanically inclined and asked him if he had tape. And so he we said, actually- oh, American tape. American tape. American tape. That's, so, what, that's what duct tape is in France. Yeah, it's American tape. It's American tape. So he gave us a roll of American tape I had to put a patch on there and it's still bulging. The idea came to mind, heaven inspired, to cut up the tube that broke and put that in there as an additional liner. And so we've got that in there as well as the duct tape. So now we're spending the night in, uh, in Val de Serre. Val de Serre. Unplanned, but uh, it's a beautiful town and I always have wanted to stay here for a little while. So we're walking the streets. We just bought a big bar of chocolate and ate the whole thing. And uh, <laughs> and now we're going to wander the streets, and there's this beautiful church and all these and beautiful so buildings. <laughs> we're counting our blessings in spite of the fact that our cell phone is dead and our brakes died and now our tire blew out and we can't find a replacement for it and we're just hoping that we can get to um, to San Michel tomorrow and find a replacement tire. The Col de Juplan, when it was raining hard, we felt really blessed to find that little, that little shed. Found a place to stay right by the Office of Tourism that the oh, lady helped us find. We had a guy passing oh, someone on, on a, a switchback. switchback. And so we came around the switchback and yeah. we had no lane to go into, so I basically yeah. rode in the grass. We were able to make it down the mountain. We were able to make it down the Yeah, Aravis. we still had a lot of the Aravis to go down. A lot down. of Aravis to go down. And we and, were able to make it with just one break in the back. In the break. And couldn't find a place to stay. And then the woman came out of her shoe store for some reason. Tapped. Well, and she went into the hotel that I had just been refused from. Then he let us in and we had the greatest night and a great, great breakfast. And, <laughs> and then we climbed the Col de Sezis and we found, and found the, found break we the breaks After that we needed. After looking in a lot of places yeah. and they're like, no. Here, we only got about a mile out of town before the tire blew on us. And okay. If we would have had to come down from oh near the gosh. top or something. That would have been disaster. Yeah, it would have been really room. terrible. Here's what I'm learning, is that if someone comes to you and looks desperate, be nice yeah. and bend over backward for them because I know what it feels like to be on the other side of that equation. Yeah, yeah. So. we've been helped a lot. Yeah. Every time you leave.